Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about case expressions in Ruby. A case expression is actually just a special type of if statement that we can use to check a bunch of different conditions. So we could use an if statement to check, you know, to see if a bunch of different things are equal to other things or to check the values of different variables. But sometimes when there's a bunch of different things that we need to check, we can use something called a case expression and it actually makes it a lot easier. So we're going to be creating a method in this tutorial, which is going to map day abbreviations to day names. So for example, each day of the week has an abbreviation like Monday is M O N and that gets mapped to Monday, right? Tuesday is T U E and that gets mapped to Tuesday. Wednesday is W E D that gets mapped to Wednesday, etc. right? The abbreviations get mapped to actual full days of the week. So I want to write a method that can take as a parameter one input and it's going to be an abbreviation and it's going to take that abbreviation and it's going to spit out the actual name of the day. So if we pass in an M O N, it'll spit out Monday. If we pass in a F R I, it'll spit out Friday, right? And that's basically going to allow us to convert these abbreviations into the actual days of the week. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to define this method. So I'm just going to say def and we need to also include an end over here and a method name. So why don't we call our method get day name. So it's going to be called get day name and inside of here we're going to pass the abbreviation. So I'm just going to call this day and day is going to represent the three letter abbreviation of the specific day, right? Makes sense. All right, so down here what we need to do is we need to convert day into the actual day name. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable and we'll just call it day name and we're going to store whatever the day name ends up being inside of this variable. So I'm just going to set this initially equal to the empty string and then down here right before we end off the method, I'm going to return day name. So our mission inside of this method now is to give this day name variable the value of the correct day, right? We need to give it the name of the day that corresponds to this abbreviation. So one way that we could do this would be using an if statement, right? So I could come down here and, you know, hopefully at this point you guys are familiar with if statements. I could say like if day is equal to M O N, right? If day is equal to M O N, then we can set the day name equal to Monday makes sense. But there's also a bunch of other conditions we have to check. So if that's not true, we can check to see if the day is equal to Tuesday. And if that's true, then we can set the day name equal to Tuesday. So for each day of the week, I can make a different else if right? I can say else if day is equal to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But here's the problem. This is going to get really tedious and really messy really fast, right? Having to create seven different if statements and, you know, seven different else blocks checking seven different conditions is going to be really difficult and tedious. And that's why Ruby has something called the case expression. And essentially what the case expression does is it allows us to take a scenario like this where we're comparing the same value to a bunch of different values and put it into a structure of its own. So in this situation, in every single one of these conditions, we're comparing the day variable equal to another value, right? In this condition, we're comparing it to Monday. Down here, we're comparing it to Tuesday. We could also compare it to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's the same comparison with a different value. In a situation like that, case expressions are golden. They're going to help us out so much. So I'm going to get rid of this if block. And over here, we're going to set up a case expression. So the way that I do this is just by typing out case. And now I need to give this something. So we're going to give this the value that we want to compare to a bunch of different values. In our case, it's just day, right? Because I want to compare day to mun. I want to compare day to two, like T U E. I want to compare it to W E D T H U. I want to compare it to all the day abbreviations. So we're going to need to end this off. Now inside of here, I can create something called a when statement. And a when statement will basically do something when day is equal to a certain value. So I can say when, and now I can compare day to something. So I could say when mun, and basically what me this means is when day is equal to M O N, then down here, we're going to do something. So I can just put some code down here. So what I want to do is set day name equal to Monday, because now we know they're trying to get Monday. 
I can make another when. So I could say when TUE, we could say day name is equal to Tuesday, right? And so basically what we're doing is we're checking to see if day is equal to Monday. And if it is, then we'll do this. If day is equal to Tuesday, then we'll do this, etc. So I could make one of these for every single day of the week. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll meet back here and we'll talk about what happened. All right, so I went ahead and created one of these for every day of the week. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these here. And each one of these is doing something when a different condition is met. So when it's WET, we're setting day name to Wednesday. When it's FRI, we're setting day name to Friday, etc. So essentially we're able to create like a complex if else structure, but without having to like actually write all of it out. We can just say like when, and it's automatically gonna check this value with the value up here. So this can be really useful, but there's actually one thing that we want to account for. There's gonna be situations where the user enters in an invalid day abbreviation. So if the user enters in a valid abbreviation like SUN or SAT, we can cover that, right? But what happens if they enter in something invalid? So what happens if they pass a parameter into this get day name method that isn't an actual valid abbreviation. Well, we can use something called the else keyword. And the else keyword is a lot like the else keyword in if statements. I can just say else. And now anything that I put in here is gonna execute when none of these guys up here are true. So I could say down here, else day name is equal to invalid abbreviation. Right, so I'm basically telling them, hey, you put an invalid abbreviation in here. So this is gonna get executed when there isn't a valid abbreviation. All right, so essentially what I'm doing is in each of these scenarios, I'm giving day name a different value. Then down here at the bottom of our method, I'm just returning day name. So this is a fully functional method. Hopefully everything works. Why don't we come down here and test it? So I'm gonna go ahead and just print out the answer that we get back. So I'm gonna say puts, and then it's just called get day name and we want to pass this an abbreviation so i'm going to pass this mon for monday right and when i pass it this and we run our program you'll see over here we print out monday so our program is giving us back the correct answer if i typed in sat down here then we should get back saturday just like that if i typed in thu then we're going to get back thursday so you can see we're getting back the correct value if I typed in something invalid, so if I typed in like D-O-G, like dog, now it should yell at us. So it's gonna say invalid abbreviation. And we were able to do this whole thing while keeping it nice and clean and nice and simple. Like this whole thing only took me, you know, less than a minute to write out. And I was covering all of these different situations. So this can be extremely useful when you want to check a single value like a day against a bunch of different values and do different things depending on the situation. So definitely consider using case expressions. Here's the thing, these aren't gonna be appropriate in every situation. These are appropriate for one specific situation, right? Where we're checking the same value against a bunch of different values. But that situation is very common. So when it does come up, don't be afraid to use case statements. They'll make your life a lot easier. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.